Greetings. So in this video we're going to talk about how you can find the area of a triangle even when you don't have uh, the base and the height or the height that you need to make it work um, when you have a side angle side. So really what you're looking for is a triangle situation that's no right angle there and you have the value of two sides and the enclosed angle. It has to be the angle between the two sides or that make that is created by the two sides really. So from here uh, let's consider what I'm actually talking about. So say I have a triangle and I'm going to make one real fast because you know it would make any sense not to. Go up here. Okay so in this case we have a height so the formula for uh, area of a triangle, of course, is one half base times height, and I'm not going to write that there. I'm going to write it over here. That way we have it. But that's under the assumption, of course, that we have a true height that creates a right angle. Now in this one we do, but I'm just going to use it as an example of why this works, and then we're going to use it for real. So if I don't have the parts that I need, like if I'm given this and this and then this, so we'll call this C, um, I'm given those pieces of information. Even though I don't have a height, I can still get the height. The base I have, so I'm good to go there, one half and base, so we're good to go. The B is in play. The difference is I need to get a feel for, okay, well, what can help me get the height? That's what I need to know. Well, you know, trig can help you get it. So trigonometry. We're going to use specifically the sine function. So the sine in this case, sine of x is equal to opposite over the uh, hypotenuse. How it applies here is that sine of c is equal to the height over a. Now I'm going to sort of rearrange this a little bit and make it so that I'm going to multiply both both sides times a so I end up with a times sine of c and that's my height. All I'm going to do now is just replace the h here with this. So it would look like this. So the sine of the angle c times a times b times one half and then we just sort of make it look a little bit nicer because this is kind of hideous looking so or maybe you love this you can keep this if you like but to me it, it doesn't have the letters don't go in order my variable letters so that's a crime over two so really if we're given the two sides and we're given the enclosed angle all we need to do is say okay well a times b times the sine of c and then make sure that I uh, multiply it by one half or divide by two which is the same thing so you can choose. That's why it works. It's based off of the idea that we can find the height that we need as long as we have the parts that are required to make it work. So there you go. Well why couldn't it be one of these other angles? Uh, because you're not specific. If I lock in these parts it makes it so there's nothing you can really do. The angle length here stays the same. The uh, Sorry, the side length side length here stays the same and the angle stays the same you can't get any other triangle whereas if we were allowed to do change an angle up here there's lots of situations in which you could have side lengths so long and then this angle is completely different it may or may not work so you have to lock it in anyway let's do a couple so here's one it's almost perfect it would be very simple to do this if it just said 90 here but of course it doesn't but we can adjust for that so area equals one half a times b times sine of c. Uh, the big thing I would say when you do this type uh, for this one specifically is that it has a uh, number in degrees. So if you're using like a TA84 plus, make sure your mode is set for degrees. Mine was set for radians. That's the most annoying thing. You do all this and it's set for radians and you miss every question. And then you think you don't know how to do it, but it's not hard to do. You just have to make sure that, you know, you set it properly. Anyway, that's just my heads up and don't end up doing what I used to do, which is always forget. A and B doesn't matter. You can pick them in any order that you want. I don't know why I wrote B there when I should obviously write 6. Probably because they look alike. And then sine of 92 degrees. And since I've already changed my original 
or my mode to degrees, this should work. Close that out, hit enter, and that should give me my area. So let me just check my answer. 9, and I got 8.99, so yeah, 9. It's pretty easy once you see it. Um, let's do one more, and that's it. We'll make this one nice and short, because I don't want to do a really long one. This one has sort of a weird look to it. Um, I'm going to try to, this is as far as I could scale up the size. I like to have them so you can, you know, see that it looks like it's the internal angle, but it is here. It's the included angle, so it's between these two. So once again, area equals one half base times height, and we're going to modify that out so it's one half uh, a times b times sine c, seven times three times sine of 150 degrees. And really, these are simple as soon as you figure out how they work. So 0.5, or you can use one half if you like. You want to make, let's make a fraction, why not? I'm not spending a lot of time on this one. So one half, and then I can just delete that out. One half decimal, that would make the thing lose its mind, or the calculator. And then sine of 150. So that's it, 5.25. So this one, you know, it's a rounding thing. This would be 5.3, but it, I think they probably ended up rounding sine 150 to get their answer. But either way, it's close enough to be uh, good to go here. I'm not doing it for, I'm not building a bridge with this information. But really, if you have the air, if you need the air of a triangle and you don't have a height, but you are given the length of two sides in an enclosed angle, so or the included angle, so SAS, you're good to go. All you need to do is use the two sides that you're given. You need to use the sine of the angle and then one half. There it is.